hey, it's summer, you want to go to the beach, but you want to go camping. Well, here we're going to talk about two campgrounds that are very close to Long Beach Island, Sea Pirate and Baker's Acres. First, we'll take a thorough tour of Sea Pirate Campground. This campground has so much to offer. We were right across from the pond, and the pond was very nice. They have wetlands in the back of the campground, which is absolutely pristine, untouched, you know, wildlife. It's very, very nice out there. Kind of forget you're in a campground. And they have boat rentals that you can rent kayaks and canoes to take out there also. The campground is dog friendly and they have a little dog park. They have an activity center where there's always something for the kids to do. The campground has at least three nice bathhouses. One in the front, the middle, and the back. Very clean, modern, well taken care of. They have a nice heated pool arcade and snack bar. You can also rent golf carts and bikes. They have a beautiful well-stocked store and the ladies who work in the office are very nice. This campground's been around since 1970 and the original owner is here. This is Ann. And since then, her son and grandson have taken over the campground. We have a lot of activities and things that are good for all ages, especially young kids. So. Look at these nice fire pit grills. They're absolutely gorgeous. There are multiple playgrounds. There's one in the middle and there's a bigger one up front that has so much stuff. Your regular playground set as well as a bouncy pillow, which if it was inflated, I probably would have been jumping on it. And there is a beautiful baseball field and basketball court. I'm not sure if kids nowadays know what these things are used for, but our, the older generation certainly does. They put a lot of work into this ball field. They really did. Uh, so I hope it gets used. This is a very nice basketball court. This looks like this was just redone also. It's volleyball court as well as a very nice horseshoe court. They have a nice ping pong table as well as an enclosed or sandbox for the little kiddos. So this is the 500 section. Very nice section. I would assume this is for big rigs. If you don't have a camper or a tent, they even have cabin rentals. I believe they said they had like 38 cabins. So this is definitely a nice campground. It's a campground I would definitely come back to. Now we prefer to camp in places that aren't as crowded. And as you can see, this was not crowded when we were there. We, were there, we went there the Tuesday before Memorial Day weekend. I'm sure Memorial Day weekend, this all through the summer, this place is packed. It's much easier for us to film when nobody's there. I don't have to worry about people in the shots and everything. So we like to film when it's not crowded.
So I would highly recommend this campground, especially for a family. There's just so much to do. I'm going to put a link in the comments below to this campground. This campground is about 10 miles from Long Beach Island. Well, right across the street from Sea Pirate is another one of our favorite campgrounds called Baker's Acres. We've been there several times and we really like this campground. I don't think they have golf car rentals or a lake, but still a very, very nice campground. There are a lot of things to do in the area, but they're not necessarily major tourist attractions, but they're interesting things to do. Within a mile of here, there are places that you can go crabbing or fishing. Great Bay Boulevard, also known as Seven Bridges Road, just to show you some of the things that are available to do nearby. This is Great Bay Boulevard. 
runs out of the center of town in Tuckerton. And it takes you out to a Marine Research Center for Rutgers University. That at one time was a one of the life-saving stations along the Jersey Shore. Also out in the bay, not too far from that research station, is the remnants of an old Manhattan processing plant where they used to process Manhattan for fertilizer. They call it the stink house now. What is it, Manhattan? Manhattan, which is bunker. We've been back here before. So this is the Great Bay? It's actually Barnegat Bay out here on your left. There's a little turtle crossing the road. Hey turtle! signs here so you don't run them over. So if you come down this road you have to be careful because there are many many turtles. You don't want to run them over. So that is one thing about here. There are a ton of green heads here. Yeah it's like they know that there's food inside of these metal cans. Hi Seagull. I think. So I want to show you this because a lot of people don't realize this is here. That is Holgate. It's the end of uh, Long Beach Island. It's the bird nesting area. And what is this big house? Seaport, which has a lot of uh, history about the Barnegat Bay area. We're only 10 miles off of uh, Long Beach Island. This video of Tuckerton Seaport showcased some of the things to do in the area close by. The seaport was closed the day that we visited, but we were allowed to walk the grounds outside. We were able to get some good outside video as there was no one around. Please note, pets are not allowed. We did not get to go inside any of the buildings or learn much of the history. But the walk outside was lovely. We will provide links at the end of the video to obtain more information if you want to visit Tuckerton Seaport. It was a nice little gem and well worth the visit.
Thank you for watching our video highlighting the two closest campgrounds along Beach Island and some hidden treasures nearby for things to do. We hope that you enjoyed this video. If you did, please consider subscribing to our channel. It is free and it helps us out. Come back now, you hear?